Hey guys, Justin here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the AI's vision on runtime. So we have our AI here and by default, he sees, sees within a radius of 2000. But if there was some kind of in-game event that should cause the AI to change how far or near they can see, um, let's say you want your, in your game, you have a nighttime. And in nighttime, you just want the AI to see within a radius of 1000. So in order to do that, we should open our BPAIC right here. And we're going to add a new AI perception component. And let's call this AI perception night. So click on our old AI perception. And let's just copy this AI site config. Click here and add a sense config, paste that. And we'll change the site radius to 1000 and lose site to 1200. Okay, so the reason, reason we're doing this is because we cannot change the AI perception values dynamically. So if you type something like this or site, you don't have any access to the existing configs of this component. So that's why we need to create a new perception component. Now click on the AI perception night again and make sure this starts enabled is disabled. Okay. Because we don't want that to uh, be activated first. So now uh, scroll down here and we want to add an on target perception updated. So click on the perception night and add on target perception updated. All right. And let's just copy this from the old perception. Uh, link the actor to this and stimulus to this. Compile. And now all we need to do is enable and disable whichever perception we want to be used. So right here, we want to disable this original AR perception. So we call uh, send, sense enabled. And we need to select the AI sense site. Make sure this is unchecked. And then for our AI perception night, we set sense enabled for the AI sense site. So basically we're disabling the original perception component and enabling the new one. And let's put a delay here just so to demonstrate that it does happen on runtime. So after three seconds, everything will be uh, changed. So you play this, it's not yet three seconds. So he sees us within 2000, but if we wait three seconds before we engage him, you can see he doesn't see us anymore in this distance, but if we move in closer, he should be able to see us. And yeah, so that's how you change the AI's uh, site radius on runtime. You create another component and basically enable and disable whichever you need. Uh, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Cheers guys.